What up disciples, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to level Alchemist from level 60 to 70. So before I get into this video, I just want to say that Alchemist has to be the easiest job to level in Stormblood. All the love, love quests that are repeatable for Alchemist are easy, basic ingredients, mostly coming from Botanist and Miner, with at least three of them that requires open world mo mobs. So that's gonna be level 60, 62, and level 64. But mostly those are the ones that are gonna be the cheapest actually because, well, at this point everyone should have all their crafters level, so most of these items will probably be dirt cheap on the market board. So luckily for you, that'll be the case. So before we start doing love quests, you're gonna first go to your grand uh, guildmaster in Old Da to do your level 60 job quest. You're gonna get some crystals and some manuals to get you started. Once that is done, you're gonna go to your grand company turn ins as per usual and see what you need. Make sure that you make them high quality because you get double the points if you do, and if they're starred like mine is right now, you get to triple the amount of points. So that's why it's always important to do high quality. Alright, once that is done, you want to go into your challenge log next. If you have them done already, you can skip this part. But, as always, make sure that you do three love quests that are not crafters first, because crafting only has two plates. So, after that is done, then you want to start making everything in your crafting log. Always remember, when you make them for the very first time, you get an extra bonus each time. And there always will be a check mark next to them, letting you know you made those already. So make sure you make every single thing on this list. So, once you're done with that, or you can't make anything more because your level is too low, you're going to start doing your love quests. Now, because the love quests, like I said, all the repeatable quests are easy there is no really alternative ones that you can do because well there's no reason for it because they're all all basic items so at level 60 we have magic beans which is going to be the bottle of growth formula Eda or Eda however you pronounce it now the ingredients for that is Nagari, which is only buyable on the vendor here. Moth scales, which is um, from the moths out in the peaks. And the birch sap, which you easily can get in the sea of clouds or the Vanu Vanu Beast tribe. So, moth scales, they might be cheap on your marker board, so make sure you check that before you go out and spend all that time killing all the moths. At level 62, we have Materia Worth. Potent Spear and Bomb Potions. These are one of the easiest items to make. All you'll be needing is Garabanian Mineral Water, you can get at level 60. The Mud Sud or Mood Sud Horns, which I believe is out in the peaks. I believe the uh, loquat, which is a botanist item, and the sugar beet, which also is a botanist item. So minor, battle class, and then botanist. These are very, 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 very easy to make. And probably the, possibly the cheapest. I don't know yet. The sugar beets uh, have a more multi multi purpose, so those might be a little bit expensive. But other three are definitely probably the at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to market board prices. But potent spirit bomb potion is at level 62. At level 64 we have the last live quest that actually requires a open world mob which is asking for a friend. And that is the bump of beetle glue. Now the beetle carapaces can be either gotten from the beetles in 
I believe it's the Peaks or the Beatles in the Yancia. So you're gonna be needing the Rhino Beetle Carapace, the Pine Resin, which is a botanist item, and again, the Moth Scales. So Beetle Glue is a little bit more harder because you have to go out and grind mobs. So if you do not want to do that, you can just go back to the Spirit Bomb Potions and do those instead. But Beetle Glue is going to be at level 64. And they're pretty expensive too. At level 66, we have Let Loose the Juice, which you're going to be making pots of Persimian Tannin. Basically, all you need is a botanist. You're going to go out and believe, let's see here, at level 67, so I'll probably say like around level 66, the Persimian will be available to you in the dim walled in the fringes and that's pretty much all you need to do is to make the, to make the uh, tannin oh and the uh, crescent spring water I forgot which is out in um, Yancia with your miner so you're gonna need five percent means to make the tannin and one spring water at level 68 we have mark making your mark which is going to be the Enchanted Palladium Ink. Now, in order to make these, all you need is the Palladium Sand. The Pine Resin and the Crescent Spring Water. Again, Miner, Botanist, and Botanist. I mean Miner, Miner, and Botanist. So they're all are gatherable. Probably the easiest thing to make because they're all easily accessible. So, at level 68, you're going to be making Enchanted Palladium Ink. So, like I said, if you do not want to do asking uh, for a friend, the beetle glue, I will go with Material Worth, if you guys don't want to go out there and grind beetles and moths. So guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, concerns you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood content. So until next time guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahama. Take care guys, and I will see you in 4.1.